In this video, I'm going to give you a quick and simple tutorial on how to download and use Uniswap's new mobile wallet, which is a great Web3 wallet that allows you to self-custody your crypto assets and also use it to sign into crypto applications and either trade coins or buy and sell NFTs and do much, much more. Now, for starters, of course, you're going to need to download the Uniswap wallet from the Apple Store or the Android application store. Now, once you have downloaded the wallet onto your cell phone, you can open it up and this is where you're going to create a new wallet. Of course, you can import an existing wallet if you want to, but I'm just going to go ahead and create a brand new wallet from scratch. So to do that, you just hit this big pink button here. You can give your wallet a nickname if you want to. So I am going to call this Crypto Cove Mobile, and then I will go ahead and hit Create Wallet. So my new Uniswap wallet has now been created. This right here underneath my nickname is the actual wallet address the string of letters and numbers that are associated with this crypto wallet. And that is where I will send assets to when I want to get started actually using the Uniswap wallet. But there's a couple other steps before we get to that. So let's go ahead and hit on this button that says, let's keep it safe. Now, there are two ways that you can back up your wallet. You can put it into the iCloud and encrypt it or you can actually physically write it down on a piece of paper. Now the manual backup mode is the safest way because if your iCloud, for example, were to get hacked, then someone could access your Uniswap wallet and potentially steal your assets. So if you want to take the most safe approach, I would recommend doing the manual backup. It's gonna give you a set of secret words and once you write them down and confirm on your wallet, that is your recovery phrase. So if you ever actually lost your phone or for some reason you lost access to your wallet, all you do is then put that recovery phrase into a brand new wallet and you'll have access to all your crypto assets once again. So I'm going to do this and come right back. Now, once you finish the backup, you have the option to either turn on notifications. I'm just gonna skip that for now. And you can also connect it to your biometric security if you're using an iPhone or an Android device. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and enable it to use my face ID. It's just gonna make it easier for me to sign in. And once you do that, you're actually ready to go. Now there's a few different things that you can do here. For starters, before you can do anything, you need to actually have some assets in your wallet. Now this first button here is where you can actually buy directly in the wallet, but it's not currently supported where I live. If I want to send assets, I can do that by hitting here. Uh, although why would I send Vitalik any ETH, he's already way richer than I will ever be. But this third button here is the receive button. And so I can either scan this QR code with another wallet or I can just copy my wallet address, paste it in and then send some crypto assets to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and send a little bit of ETH to my new Uniswap wallet from my other MetaMask account on my web browser and then I'll be right back to show you what you can actually do with it. Okay, that transfer came through, and so I have 0.005 ETH on the Optimism Network. Now you'll notice that in the Uniswap wallet, the assets show up on the home page. So if I had other assets in here, they would be popping up right down here. And now you'll notice that in the bottom right hand corner, there's a big button that says swap. And so this is what I can actually use to access Uniswap's decentralized exchange and I could trade my ETH for other tokens on the Optimism Network if I wanted to. So let's say I wanted to swap a little bit of ETH for a little bit of a stable coin like USDC. Well, I could select the amount that I want to trade and then it will tell me how much I will get as well as the transaction fees. So you can see there's about an 86 cent transaction fee for completing this swap because anytime you make a transaction on the blockchain, there's a small fee for that. But I'll go ahead and do this for the purposes of this tutorial, even though I don't recommend paying transaction fees that are that high for such a small transaction. Anyways, I'll hit swap. It confirms using my biometric that it's actually me trying to make the swap, and it will take a couple of seconds before this goes through. And you'll notice that there's a button up here that says activity, and that is where you can track the different transactions that have gone through. So you can see I received some ETH, and I also swapped some ETH. And if I go back to the tokens page, now you can see I have that little bit of USDC that I just swapped for. So that is the basic swap functionality of the Uniswap wallet. But 
it's actually a lot more versatile than that. So let's talk about what else you can do. You'll notice that the fourth button in this row up here is a little QR code scanner button. And so this is what you can actually use to connect to different applications. So for example, if I wanted to connect to the Uniswap application on my computer, I could hit on wallet connect, scan the QR code, and then it will automatically connect with the Uniswap wallet on my phone. And so then if I wanted to make a swap on Uniswap on my desktop, I could do that. I could trade USDC for anything or ETH for any of the tokens that are available here. So if you wanted to access different applications, you can use the Uniswap mobile wallet to do that. But it doesn't just have to be Uniswap. I can access any of the decentralized applications that are out there the same way you could if you were using, for example, a MetaMask wallet. So let's say, for example, I wanted to connect to Blur and actually buy or sell NFTs. Well, I can do that by scanning the blur.io wallet connect QR code. And now my wallet is connected to blur. It's going to pop up on my phone asking me to sign a message confirming that I want to sign in, which I will do. And now I'm connected. And so now I can actually use my Uniswap mobile wallet to buy and sell NFTs. So I could hit on the collections tab. I could sort by floor price, low to high and I could buy any random NFT for any amount. And it will actually also show up in my Uniswap wallet on my phone under the NFTs tab. So let's go ahead and buy an NFT so that you can see how that works. But since the ETH I actually have is on the Optimism network, I'm going to connect to the Zonic NFT marketplace, which just has more options on layer two. So it's the same process. I scan this wallet connect QR code with my mobile phone. And now I can actually buy an NFT on the Optimism network using Zonic. So let's go ahead, toggle for Optimism, and search for a collection that is really, really cheap, just to show you how it works. And for example, I found this cool looking piece of artwork for a dollar that I could buy. So let's just go ahead and buy this NFT right here of a sci-fi city. So the way that this works is I hit on the Buy Now button, hit Purchase NFT, and then it's going to pop up on my phone asking me to actually confirm this transaction. And once I accept the price as well as the network fees, then it will confirm the transaction and this NFT will be mine. Okay, so that has already gone through. If I hit on the activity tab, it shows that I bought the NFT and it should show up in the NFTs section, although it's not popping up just yet. It might take a couple of minutes for this to be fully confirmed on the blockchain before it pops up here under NFTs. But yeah, those are the basics of how you can use the Uniswap wallet. You can use it to connect to pretty much any DeFi or NFT application that you can find out there. You can use it to make swaps directly as well as to send and receive assets. Of course, you have to pay transaction fees for everything that you do. And while I made some transactions in this tutorial that were pretty much a waste of money just to show you how it works, I definitely recommend doing things carefully and make sure that you're not wasting money on transaction fees because that can definitely add up. But hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. And if you want to see other ways that you can interact with the wide world of crypto, then check out the other videos on my channel. Thanks for watching and have a great day.